Hi, um, my name is Lime. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is an exciting video. I think it'll be really useful for a lot of people. Um, we've got a haul tour of KJ, which is Catherine German Hall in Wellington. It's one of the Victoria Uni student accommodations and I stayed there last year in 2021. So yeah, I've honestly just done a little walkthrough. It's got my room, it's got all the common areas. Um, it'll have lots of useful information about how whole life works if you're gonna be moving there um, soon. And yeah, I've just got a little voiceover. Might as well get into it. Let's go. So this is KJ. You have to swipe your student ID to get into the hall every time. Really good security. It's 14 stories tall. Two to 14 have residents on them and one and two are like common areas and dining halls. Um, you walk into the lobby and then to the left is the hub. You've got a pool table, table tennis table, there's a bunch of couches, TV, which sometimes like the hall will play sports games on or you can watch movies, it has like Netflix. And then there's these big tables, good for studying, uh, and a little kitchenette down there. Uh, there's also a basketball court outside, very, um, no, I wouldn't call it a court, maybe a hoop and some space, but it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's also the design room, but unfortunately it was locked. Uh, but there's just some tables and stuff like that and they're great if you have like arty projects and you need a bit of space to work on them. If you continue down the side, there's some bathrooms and then the gymnasium, as I would call it, or just a gym. Um, it's pretty small, but it's got everything you need and like you don't have to pay extra for it or anything. It's included in your um, rent, I guess you would call it. But yeah, so if you come back, back into the lobby, usually um, the RAs will sit in the lobby in the evening and there might be a night manager or security guard um, on certain nights of the week. Um, this was the day that, like, before everyone moved out, so there's all the stuff for donation down there. Um, outside the office and then in the office, uh, if you need a hand with anything, you can always go down there during the day, there'll be someone. Um, yeah, and then there's lifts in the center or you can take the stairs up. So yeah, this is a dining hall. There's like cutlery, sort of salad bar on the right. There's bins on the left and you put your dishes there. So perk about living in halls is you don't have to wash any dishes. Um, this must have been Friday fry up or something like that because it's all fried food. Um, but yeah, it's pretty empty because it was, we were moving out the next day. That's why there's no one there, but you just serve up your own food most of the time. Take it to the tables to eat, there's lots of sauces, and then return all your dishes after you're done. Super easy. Um, there's also cups and taps to make drinks, there's a hot drink machine, there's also vending machines. As you can see, they do get quite empty, super popular, but they get refilled pretty often. Um, this is the biggest study room, it, um, as you can see, very spacious. There's a printer and photocopier that you can use um, with your Vic student ID and stuff like that. Uh, and then there's more bathrooms there, hot tip, those are the nicest bathrooms in the whole hall. Um, and then there's another study room, smaller, and a music room that has a piano in it. The piano is decent. There is where we do all of our laundry and washing, so the washers and dryers are $2 each. I'm telling you now, they are massive. Um, I genuinely never filled up a washer or dryer in my time there because I did not have enough stuff to clean. Um, and then you just like select which machine you want and then the settings whether it's hot or cold things like that And you can pay by F. Um, yeah, so we just got up the lift and then this is floor 14 where I was living for the second half of the year um, The floors all go like in a circle so you can totally walk around From the lift in a circle back to the lift um, on the opposite side to the lifts There are the bathrooms. These are what the bathrooms look like one thing I did like about KJ is that the bathrooms all have a toilet, sink, and shower in one cubicle, which is really nice. And this was my room, 14.30. Yeah, so this is my room. Um, you can shuffle around the furniture as much as you want. Um, however, the shelves are bolted to the wall, so would not recommend moving those. But yeah, so all of the rooms come with a table. Uh, it's quite long, quite a long desk, um, a chair, a small rubbish bin, a bed, a pin board, some shelves above the pin board, and then a set of like, um, where you can like hang up your clothes as well as like, I guess, cubby hole shelf type things. Um, you'd be surprised how much stuff you can fit in there. Like I have a lot of 
crafty and I guess hobby materials um, and I had no problem whatsoever fitting all my stuff in there. I have my little wall planner on the pin board which is very useful. Would recommend getting a wall planner, it makes it very easy to see all your assessments. As you can see there are a lot of assessments <laughs> and there is the gorgeous view of okay well you can't really see the ocean right now because it's dark but um you can see the ocean outside of my window oh uh, yeah so these are the cubby holes uh, i kept food in some of them always good to have snacks and mini meals that you can make um craft supplies these are my clothes hanging up lots of random bits and bobs my sewing box one for like toiletries um, yeah, and there's also quite a lot of space on top of the cupboards um, between that and the ceiling. Got my little shelves from Kmart. They were actually very useful. Kept um, items which I accessed a lot on it, like my little shower caddy. And then like makeup all on the top, which I used often next to the mirror. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, I really would appreciate a like, a subscribe, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about what whole life is going to be like i'm more than happy to answer them so just comment them down below and i'll get back to you when i can hope you enjoyed and if you're moving into catherine and german best of luck you're going to have an amazing time <laughs> <laughs>